In this video, we're going to cover off a variety of topics on the estimate costing screen, including how to select allowances, how to manage redistribution, how to select specifications, as well as how to select timeline items. Now, to begin, we land here on the estimate costing screen, and specifically, we're going to talk a little bit about these four buttons right here. Now, starting on the left, we can go ahead and toggle our allowance items on by simply hitting this little A button here, and you'll see it'll now turn this purple color, letting us know it's now allocated on. Now, what that allowance button does is actually three things. The first thing, and the most important thing it's going to do, is it's going to bring any of these elected allowance items to a separate area of the quote letter, and we'll talk a bit about the quote letter in a future video. The second thing it's going to do, though, is it's going to toggle on what we refer to as redistribution. And that's this second button right here, where the redistribution is currently turned on, and the C indicates that it's currently category-wide redistribution. Now, simply put, what redistribution is, is it's taking the markup that'd be normally applied to this item, and it's simply redistributing it based off of this second button here. And in this case, because the C is showing, it's redistributing it across the category. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about redistribution, but the most important part of redistribution is the whole point of why we redistribute the markup is that way when we show it that allowance item in the quote letter, we do not show it inclusive of markup. And really, we're just trying to make it easier for you in the sense that you don't have to then show it inclusive of markup. And then when you're discussing those allowance items with your client, having to then let them know essentially that the cost that is shown on the quote letter for the allowance item is inclusive of markup, and then essentially having to explain to them how much has been actually properly allocated for that respective allowance, how much money they can spend. So redistribution basically takes the markup that normally be applied to that item, and it, still, and it essentially just moves it, allowing you to still make the allocated markup for that item but without having to have the complicated conversation with your client as to what the actual cost that they can spend is. Now, as we explore redistribution a bit further, I want to touch a bit on the three different ways that we redistribute markup and take you through a bit of a visual representation of how the redistribution is handled. So to start with, we have no redistribution, and that is when this N is showing. And that simply means that the markup is then retained in that item. This is not very common for a lot of residential. However, we do see this quite often in a lot of commercial or industrial, uh, where perhaps there's a the, the markup is being handled separately in the contract. Uh, so in this case, you want to retain the markup in that particular item. We've talked a bit about now the category redistribution, which is the default. And effectively what happens here is as you can see, when the category redistribution is turned on, it's gonna take the redistribution from item three and it's gonna spread it to other items that have a cost within the category. So item three's markup has been allocated to item one and item two. Now, as a side note, if you have all of the items in a category with category-wide redistribution, then essentially it's not going to be able to redistribute within the category because all of the items have redistribution. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to then redistribute across the entire estimate. So if we looked at this case in this example, if this was our entire estimate, then the markup from these three items, because it can't redistribute in the category, it's going to redistribute it across the rest of the estimate. This one here is going to be able to redistribute within the category. So it's then going to add in the item. So item one and item two will attract the markup for this item, this item, this item, and this item. Now, we do also have the ability to elect estimate-wide redistribution. And so essentially here, that's going to take the markup from, say, this item, and it's going to redistribute it across all other items that don't have redistribution turned on. So again, this item will go to item one, item two, and then item three here in this cat higher items. And these two will also then take the markup and it will apply it across the board. Now, hopping back into build exact, we can basically see this at play here. So we can start by changing the redistribution from the ones we've talked about. Again, it'll be category wide redistribution. I can click this C, it'll turn it to estimate wide redistribution. And if I click it once more, it's going to mark it as N, meaning that there's no redistribution. Now we can see this in action by simply hitting the quote total here, and we'll see that the estimate costings, there's the estimated cost for that item, and there's currently no markup and no redistribution, because again, I've got redistribution turned on. Whereas if I go to the next item, you'll see that this is how the markup has been added, the direct markup applied to it, and here are the redistributions, and I can show the breakdown, and in this case here, you can see line 23.1, this cooked up allowance we've been looking at. Well, what's happened is it's taken, it's attracted the $88 worth of markup from uh, from 23.1 and it's been added it to 23.2. So a little bit of seeing redistribution in action. 
Now from here, moving on, we're gonna to touch on the S button here. And what that S button allows you to do is essentially begin to pre-build your specifications. So we're gonna go through specifications in another video, but the idea being quite simple that if you want this item to be on your specifications, then you can go ahead and give it an S and that'll then pre-populate with the category and the item. And that's the same with this T button here. As long as the item has a dollar amount, you can hit this T button at any stage. And then when you go to your job schedule, which is in the job management side, and we'll cover off on that a future video, the this item and the category will already be pre-populated. So very handy that as you work through your estimate costings, you have that ability to ask yourself, do I want this item on my specifications? And if yes, you can hit the S button. And same, if you want this item on your schedule, you can hit the T button and it'll be and that's how to elect allowances, redistribution, uh, specifications, and timeline items here in the estimate costings. Thank you.